What's up everybody? Welcome back to Slow Restoration. As you can see today we are working on the yellow Z06 vet. Uh, we got pretty far on it already. Uh, we have the supercharger removed, the valve train's gone, and as you can see one of the cylinder heads is already off. Uh, grab my flashlight here. Look down in there. LS7 has flat tops with four valve relief pistons. Um, one thing I did notice, well a couple things I've noticed already, tearing it down, you can see in there how gunky the intake valves or intake ports are. So it's not a real good sign. Um, could be a sign of the valve guide wear that everyone is fearing on the LS7. Um, here's the cylinder head here that we removed. Combustion chambers look decent. They do have some deposits in them, but again, the intake uh, ports are just really, really gunky. That one in particular. Uh, some of them are cleaner than others, and we won't really know about the valve guides until we get the springs off, <clears throat> which I'm about ready to do. One thing I, I probably knew at one time and forgot, all the LS7 heads were CNC ported from the factory. Um, but you can still improve them uh, like we're going to do. We're going to have these sent off to Texas Speed and Performance to do the valve guy repair and uh, their CNC porting, which increases flow and power by quite a bit. Another thing I noticed is on the spark plugs, <clears throat> when we pulled them out, as you can see, the, the threads of the plugs are pretty wet. Um, with some oil, which is not a good sign either. So I'm gonna pull these springs off and we'll look and see how bad the guides are. And uh, we'll go from there. And we also have to get the other head off and get these things boxed up and shipped out. Do a real quick how-to here for the <coughs> comp cams valve spring compressor tool. Works really nice. You just bolt, bolt it down. Good enough. Swap out the socket. Uh, I'm not sure I can do this with one hand. Let me set this down. So we ran that, ran the <clears throat> retainer piece down with the bolt. You tighten the, the, the compressor itself down. It's got a uh, compressor bolt. It's got the plate that pushes down on the retainers. And uh, got a little tension on there. And we just take and lightly tap to loosen up the keepers. And just tighten that up. The intake valve did not release. Now it did. All right. A magnet works good to pull the retainers out, the keepers. Let's throw them out. Not sure we have enough room. Might need to compress that a little bit more. There's one. Our magnet, pull the other one out. And then you just release it. Very easy, very efficient. Even on the vehicle, it's very easy to use. So we'll get these springs off and uh, I'll show you what kind of wear these valve guides do have. All right, so we have that off. <clears throat> and uh, let's check the wear, especially in the exhaust valves here. You can see we got quite a bit of movement. Not sure how well that's gonna pick it up, but. Uh, some of them are worse than others. 
and one of these exhaust valves are a little discolored and it seems to be worse yet yeah you can really see the movement there so these definitely need it done unfortunately it's a dreaded issue on all the ls7s but uh we'll get them fixed up and uh, not have to worry about it again <clears throat> another quick thing is this is a little piece of two inch rigid styrofoam and I just labeled them and as you take your rockers off you can just press them right down thread them right into this uh, rigid styrofoam keeps everything in place they don't move around and uh, keeps them organized a little tech tip Let's see if I can hold steady and show you a little better But there you got it. All right, we are in the Camaro and we have the heads loaded up for the Z06. We're going to take them out and uh, have them shipped off to Texas Speed to have the port work done and the repair work. And we're also going to RPM Motorsports to pick up a part for the Camaro, or the Corvette rather. So let's enjoy the ride. All right, we made it back home safely. As you can see, we got caught in the rain. Come here, need a wash anyway, so now it's definitely gonna have to get washed because it's filthy. We got our comp cams cam from RPM for the Z06, and we got the head shipped off. So unfortunately, I'll have to wait for them to come back, so it's probably gonna take uh, a couple weeks for them to come back from uh, Texas Speed. But we have the cam, we'll get that installed and uh, just wait for the heads to come back. Until next time, please subscribe if you're not already. We'll see you in the next upload.